Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. The genius that is the Ginger Growler has come up with another fantastic plan. She's going to allow people to work four days a week for five days money. It's marvellous. In fact, you'll actually work uh, the same contracted hours, but without um, shorter break, you know, with shorter breaks and things. But you can get your, four, you know, you get, you, you get your hours done in four days, not five. Now, ostensibly, this sounds like an excellent idea. It gives people an extra day to spend with their families. God help them. Or gives them an extra day to go and do something recreational or whatever. It's great. And of course, it's one day we're not driving to work and back to thinking better for the environment. And yes, all those things are great and wonderful and, you know, truly, truly excellent. And I could get on board with that. However, there's a lot of companies for which this would be utterly disastrous. And if you've got people that work over, let's say, difficult hours already, how do you maintain that in law? If you get people with split shifts or, or things, how do you get them to do this? It's it's going to be unworkable because what she's making here is not something that uh, an employer may be able to offer you should you request because that already exists in law. What they're doing is they're saying is an unalienable right. You have the, an absolute legal right to it. This could make some employers very, very scared indeed. Now, whilst I agree the principle, you cannot make it so rigid that it's going to end companies. It's going to damage trade. There's got to be some form of flexibility in it. But of course, the growler, well, she doesn't do flexibility, does she? She's Labour. She's Stalinist. It's my way or the highway. Or at least my way or prison, the way they're going. And so you have this problem. And she's not clever enough to come up with elegant, sophisticated solutions. I mean, just look at her. There's nothing any either elegant or sophisticated about her. So what's the answer? I mean, for people working in offices, that's fine. But for people who work like split shifts, as I say, or they do um, contractor shifts where you're week on, week off, you know, early and late, for example, in uh, warehousing and things like that. He's saying that nothing's going to go out on a Friday. Just when people want to go shopping over the weekend. Or do you... Do you do it that some people work Monday to Thursday, other people work Tuesday to Friday, but then you're going to have an awful lot of people in the middle, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. How does this work? How can you possibly do this? How can you possibly work this? It's madness, but of course you don't expect anything less from this woman. She's not bright, is she? And she's been asked these questions and she's struggling. She doesn't know the answers. It was all very fine when they were sitting down there in the pub the other night, uh, sitting out in a beer garden, puffing a ciggy while she could, before she has to go out on the street. And then, um, will be the first time, uh, and then coming up with the back of an envelope saying, oh, I've got a great idea, get us another gin and I'll tell you all about it, you know. And then coming up with, hey, four day week, yes, genius, you know. Have you got any details worked out? Nah, don't worry about that. We'll just announce it and hope it works. Labour policy, isn't it? It's how they come up with most of their stuff nowadays. Sitting in a gin palace, out of their heads on cheap hooch. Anyway, there you go. Thought that would be interesting. Another failure in the off. Another thing we can see a mile off is going to crash and burn. And probably won't happen because, well, it's Angela Ranger doing it, isn't it? Thanks a lot. Bye.